back in pre-season. Does, does it feel like a new season's about to start again? Um, yeah, it's it's a funny time of the year. Obviously, this is my I think ninth pre-season now, so it's come around quickly. I'm actually one of the the older members of the group at the moment. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys in here that are really young, a lot of fresh guys actually that are out of high school and sort of in their early 20s. So it's actually making me feel a little bit old at the moment. But uh, it's really good. It's obviously opportunity for, for, I guess, for our senior guys to teach some of those younger guys, you know, about our club and, um, you know, what's required and those sort of things before um, all our rep guys come back um, after Christmas. Having a newborn sort of prepared you for, for handling some of these young blokes? <laughs> no, I don't think a newborn prepared for anything, to be honest. <laughs> uh, really enjoying that role, though. Um, loving that. Um, I did love my eight-hour sleep before <laughs> we had the baby, but... Um, yeah, we've cut that in half now. We've, we've just had to adapt, but yeah, loving it. A few big names have left the club, obviously, over this off-season. So it's a real off-season of change. Um, I guess how's it been without some of those big personalities, big names about? Yeah, it's been different. As I said, it's it's really it's a really young group at the moment. Um, you know, a lot of the international guys aren't back yet. They won't be back till after Christmas. So, you know, sort of myself and, and Jesse are the the older sort of heads here at the moment, and the rest of the guys are, are a lot younger. So. Um, it is, yeah, as I said, a little bit different, but, um, you know, once Cameron and some of those older guys come back after Christmas, um, you know, it would be a little bit of a different atmosphere. Can you, can you play in the centres at all? Uh, there's been a bit of change there on, on the flanks. Oh, not a chance. I haven't played there since Big Roosters days, <laughs> um, back in the early 2000s. But, um, yeah, it would be interesting. Obviously, Craig's, that's Craig's job to sort of sort out what we're doing with in regards to you know, positional. Um, workings within our team, so um, I'm glad that's his job. The club's had a lot of change over the probably the last three, four, five years with, with players leaving. Does that give you confidence that you will find a way or Craig will find a way to, to put someone in those positions? Yeah, definitely always have confidence. You know, I think I look back to you know, the first grand final that I was involved in here in 2016 and the amount of that playing group that moved on. I think we had sort of five uh, regular first graders in that side that have moved on and you know, every year since then the 17 grand final, the 18 grand final, um, you know, a significant amount of players have moved on, but, you know, Craig's found a way to uh, bring new guys in and, um, you know, develop our younger guys to, to play in those positions that have been vacated by the older guys that are left. So, um, you know, I've got full faith in the coaching staff that they'll be able to, um, you know, whether it be find someone or someone who we already have here in our team to, to fill those roles. I've been probably back a few days, but do the young blokes, they see this opportunity that they see those spots do you see an extra bounce in their step yeah i think so i think you always get that with youth you know if i remember my sort of first time coming in you know coming out of high school and coming into to first grade training the, the amount of enthusiasm and excitement that you have you know to be around first grade players so you definitely get that vibe and buzz from that young group and um you know they'll be definitely fighting for those spots Perhaps jumped out of the ground last off season and, and won a spot, and we know what he's been capable of. You, who's your early prediction of? Is someone really impressed you in the days that you've been back? Yeah, it's it's probably a bit too early to say. Um, and as I said, the the guys that are here are extremely young. You know, some guys are fresh out of high school and um, and, and fresh coming down from the Sunshine Coast and Brizzy East. So um, it's probably early days to tell. You know, who'll be looking at a first grade opportunity come next year, but. Um, yeah, as I said, on Ryan Pappenhausen last year, you know, I think you look at the start of the year, he was, he was probably our third string fullback, you know, so um, obviously Scott Drinkwater um, changed clubs and, you know, Pap's got his opportunity to play in the bench through the middle and, um, and, and sort of solidified that, that fullback role at the back end of the year. So, um, you know, it's probably a good, um, it shows that anything can happen and anything's possible if you work hard. How did you sort of uh, pick up from the finals last year? I know it probably feels like an eternity ago, but look, what, what sort of stands out or what, what, what have you learnt from that? Yeah, we probably haven't addressed that as a group um, yet, that, that sort of last period of the year for us. Um, as I said, having a younger group here probably won't mean a whole lot to those guys who weren't involved in it. So when, when all those international guys do come back uh, in the core group that we sort of had last year, that's probably when those discussions will, will come around. Usually, you know, that first week or two post Christmas when we get down to Geelong and have a lot of time together, we sort of reflect on the year that we had and, and what we want to do and, um, and what sort of team we want to be moving forward.
Does it sit in your gut still? No, it's, it's funny. I, I, I don't always reflect on necessarily on the year before or, or hold any anger or any extra motivation because of what happened the year before. Um, I'm purely about looking forward and looking at the opportunities that we have with the players that we have at the moment. So, um, you know, my focus is on, on now and moving forward. Speaking of which, um, you know Cameron's going around again, but leadership, potential captaincy, is that something that you've been thinking about at all, that opportunity in the future? No, it's not something that has crossed my mind, to be honest. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Cameron outplayed me, to be honest, <laughs> uh, as a career. So, um, no, but we've got a good senior leadership group here. You know, we've got Kenny Bromwich and Jesse Bromwich. Obviously, losing Will Chambers is, is a big loss to our leadership group. But um, whether or not Craig will look to bring someone else into that group, um, I'm not too sure. But you know, I think the really good thing is, um, you know, we obviously have Cameron as our, our main leader and, and captain with inside, but um, we've got good balance in our leadership group. Um, you know, to, throughout the group that's, um, you know, being able to share the roles around and um, everyone's obviously got different personality traits that work with different guys. So um, I guess that's the strength of our leadership group. And Silly we know is going to Rugby Union not till after the season. I guess have you spoken to him? Has there been conversations about how he, I guess, handles this year? He's obviously got another year to go. Yeah, no, so Silly's only uh, very freshly back in. So I haven't had an opportunity to talk to him about um, you know his future and what he's doing moving forward, but um, you know it's it is what it is. That's the that's the nature of our yeah, of our game, and it's it's very obviously business orientated. You know these days as well, and you do have to look after um, yourself and your family. So I, I completely understand. Um, you know players doing that. I spoke previously about you know from 2016 having players moved on, and there's been a number of players that have moved on. You know since then. So. Um, it's to be expected and it's the nature of our game.